This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's play a little link here. Uh, this is uh, the segment where the Voodoo Ken Mafia target Stanford. It's just a couple minutes here, but I want you guys to have a listen to what we're talking about for context. <laughs> Week two, we came up here for one of two things. You can either sign this cease and desist paper or by God, we can go to war. You see all we're doing Vince is the same thing we did when we worked for you. Remember <laughs> CNN center? Yeah, but it's just funnier because <laughs> we're doing it to you. <laughs> Me and Kip, all the wrestling fans around the world. We got two words for you. Stop, Stop please. please. <laughs> Thank goodness you remember to bring the sound system. Yes, desperate times cause for desperate measures. Yeah, let's blast them out of there. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Which office this is? The corner office. So I hit pause here because you saw Billy Gunn pull a traffic cone out of a trunk where there was a kid laying in the trunk who handed him the traffic cone. So that's the sound system. Paul Lovett, Michael Hickenbottom. Vince McMahon, come out with your pants up. Leave the fat, naked, oily guy in the building and surrender at once. I want my 20 bucks from four years ago you still owe me. <laughs> Give up now and there will be no further consequences. Come out with your pants up. Look, we're out here. You know who I am. We've been standing out here for about three and a half hours now. Man with the strongest will wins in battle every time. Hey, By on. God, I'm willing to stand here all night long. I just had a nightmare. Well, are you okay? Yeah. I had a nightmare that dumb to the extreme were doing something with a fat guy. Was he naked? Yes. Was he putting oil all over himself? You had the same nightmare I did? No. Those imbeciles actually shot that segment on their television show. We have to abort. What'd you say? Now you buck up, Private, because you and I are America's last line of defense between that and good television. Now you buck up, you cover up, and you say good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. Give me the point. And then for more clips, go to the website. So there it is. In hindsight, it didn't age all that great. It's not that great. <laughs> Punching up. You know, um, I can remember because uh, I was reviewing this. Brian would always play it back in his mind, and whether he was talking to Vince or Dutch or me or whoever, he always tried to say. Okay, if you didn't see it back then, does it make sense just as a standalone? And that's not always the easiest line, but silly lines like come out with your pants up and entertaining BS like that. But um, there it is, VKM invade Stanford. And uh, for those folks that are just listening, no, no video, they were actually on the steps right outside Titan Towers. Um, I can remember when I went back in 2019 and up there during meetings, I could look out at the exact spot that, that the car was at. <laughs> so a little stroll down memory lane, if you will. Well, let's uh, talk about, uh, and this will be the last one I'll play. I promise the VKM visit to a WWE live event in Knoxville. This aired on impact. Let's take a listen. You're gonna love where I'm fixing to take you. Where are we going? This monster truck, I think it just ran over a school bus. Knoxville, Tennessee, to a raw live event show. Huh, no way they got yes. a live show in Knoxville and that's where we're going? We have to go talk to the people. We have to. That's just a must. Talk to the fans? Yes, there. talk to the people. Are you, are you the sure there'll be any fans there? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Bless you. <laughs> you got snot all over the steering wheel. The Coliseum in Knoxville. We were at your headquarters in Stanford. Heck, we're on the road with you. Only thing we're missing is the dress code and the wellness yeah, program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Hickenbottom and Paul Levesque. 
Yeah, Ladies first... and gentlemen, done to the extreme. Yeah, there they are. And they're here to perform another skit that's absolutely going to get throw up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, all we want to do is hit the So there you go. Trying to do our best DX invasion. <laughs> Probably better to just move on. Uh, December okay. 3rd is the night of the infamous disaster known as ECW's December to dismember. It's so bad. Vince and Paul Heyman split ties the next day. Did you watch the show? Do you remember ordering that one? Did you used to get the WWF shows and watch them with some friends or family? I did not watch this one. Uh, I Please remember. Don't. Do not. What was so bad about it? I, I, I don't recall. Well, it said there was office chatter about it and the chance. And I know there was some chance at Rawls as well, sort of. And I don't want to say during this specific time, but through the years, oh, there was the big TNA chant last night in so-and-so Raw. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. But no, I, I don't have uh, any context on that pay-per-view. Well, just one sentence. What was so bad about it? Uh, there was almost no matches announced for the pay-per-view ahead of time. And then it was just sort of thrown together. Um, okay. Not good. Gotcha. It's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.